Hey guys, it's Mr. Ages Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPad, your iPhone 3GS old and new boot ROM, iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2G and B model. And I believe that's all the devices, iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4. As you can see right here, iPod Touch 4 is... Um, my iPod Touch 4 is in the other room, but this is the iPhone 4, jailbroken 4.2.1. And I'm going to be showing you this on the iPad 4.2.1. So here we go. Now this jailbreak is tethered for the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM. The iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 4, the iPad, and the iPod Touch 3G new boot ROM, I believe. Um, I'll have to check that. Just check down in the description. But basically, you get Cydia. As you can see, I'm going to show you that I am running 4.2 if it's not obvious enough on my iPad 4.2.1 now this will also work for 4.2 and again for all your devices so I'll just show you really quick Cydia now the definition of tethered on this one is not the fact that it'll go into recovery after you reboot but it will go into um, like your Cydia won't load. I'll demonstrate that very quickly. Now let's just boot that back up and also let's look at the desktop. So let that boot up and I'll show you that in just a sec. Now on your computer you're going to need these two files, your firmware, which you're going to find your firmware at this site felixbronze.de. This is down in the description and you just go over here, browse your firmware, and this also does jailbreak Apple TV 2G, if you needed to know that. All your firmware is right here, you just want to select 4.2 in your correct device. And um, that's pretty much it. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to blog-iphone, I believe it's just rednew.com actually. And it forwards you right here. And you're going to want to click your Windows or your Mac download. Now this process is the, pretty much the same for your Windows machine or your Mac. So you're going to want to download. Once you get both of your firmware, make sure you're obviously restored to 4.2 on your iPad or your iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, 3GS, all those devices I listed, and also your iPod Touch 2G and B model. So right here, we have the iPad booted up again. And now, since I rebooted, Cydia will not load. Now, the way you fix that is you re-jailbreak Red Snow. Now, I'm going to show you the initial jailbreak. So, you're going to want to open up this Red Snow, Red Snow file right here. And you get prompted with this. All the normal stuff right there. You're going to want to browse for your firmware. And mine is on my desktop, so let's just go look for that. I'm going to click right there. Oops, not that. Um, that was not the firmware file. Let's just uh, wait. For it. Just try that again. You need to select your firmware file, which is on my desktop. And right there. There it's my firmware 4.2.1 successfully identified. Now this is an important step if you're on the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM. It's going to ask you if you're running a new boot ROM. This is very necessary so you're going to want to click yes if you're running a new boot ROM or no if you're running an old boot ROM. If you do not know, go check the internet for your um, device and I'll also have links down in the description if you need to figure that out. And that asked you for some other devices. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head, but that's very important. So you're going to want to click next right here. It's going to basically extract the firmware right here and do its all its necessary things. So uh, right here, it's going to prompt you to install Cydia, install a custom bundle, which you don't need to worry about, you average users. Just boot tethered or enter DFU mode right now. Um, you're, if you're jailbreaking for the first time, you're going to want to click install Cydia. Now if in my case, I'm going to want to just boot tethered because I already am jailbroken. 
So this is showing you the jailbreak process as well as the just boot tethered. So you're going to want to just boot tethered if you are already jailbroken and if you are jailbroken you're going to click install Cydia. So I'm going to show you this. It's the same process just the install Cydia takes more problem, more not problems on time. So but um, just click next and you're going to want to turn off your device. So let's just do that. And there we go. Once your device is turned off, this is going to walk you through the steps of putting your device into DFU mode. So we're just going to want to click next and it's going to do prompt. So hold the lock button, then the home and power, and it has a countdown on the computer. Now we're going to want to release the power button and continue holding the home button. Repeat this step until Red Snow successfully identifies the device. Now Red Snow will do its thing. And at this point, it'll be doing all your uploading RAM disk if you're jailbroken for the first time. Jailbreaking, sorry. And Red Snow is finished because it's just boot tethered, but if you are jailbreaking, it'll have a longer process. So guys, I hope this helped you all. If you need any, um, if you have any issues, post a comment down below. And also there will be a link for my contact form. So that will also be down below. Now this also works for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, new and old boot ROM. And um, the iPhone 3G, iPod Touch 2G NB model, and iPod Touch 3G. But not the iPod Touch 2G MC model. So... Here we go. Open up Cydia. So again, if you the definition of tethered means that you can still turn on your device, just no Cydia apps will work. So that is definitely um, good to get clear. And um, so that's it, guys. Um, this was Mr. AJ Stack showing you how to jailbreak. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and also check out the website hackmyiphone.com. Hit the subscribe button up there, and follow me on Twitter, and I guess I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys.